Hello everyone, this is going to be the soil profile from field number one. So what we see here, we have our materials up and ready. We have a spoon, a pipette, all of our test indicators, distilled water. We have our soil, and this is just on a piece of uh, paper so that we can see what it looks like, as well as our soil collection in a bag. This is our soil profile after 48 hours. So this is from field number one, that soil, after we shook it from what you can see in the previous video, this is after 48 hours. So we can see on top, we have some floating organic matter, such as dead leaves, dead plants, dead animals, what we can see. In the center, we have that more lighter color water. And on the bottom, we have our sediments that have been sinking. So as we know that gravel is most likely at the bottom, it's a little bit heavier, very big particle size. Above that, we might have some sand, silt, and clay. Suspended in that water is that clay. So that's what's floating in the water. We have let that set for 48 hours. So now we're going to be testing out the pH, the nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium or potash levels. First thing I'm going to test is we are going to do our pH test. So we take our indicator and I have put our soil to the fill line. So I used my spoon, we grabbed our soil and we filled it to that fill line. So there's a bottom fill line right here. Once I have that, I'm going to take my distilled water and I'm filling this pH to the second line, so that second top line. I'm going to fill that up to that line. And once that's ready, I'm going to take my capsule of pH indicator. I'm gonna fill that, drop it into just the substance inside into that test compartment. Make sure that all of that capsule is emptied out. Set that to the side and I wanna close my indicator. Make sure that it seals properly, 100% closed, and I'm gonna shake. I'm gonna shake this for one minute, for a few seconds, just making sure that it's fully good, that that soil is going to be dissolved and that that indicator that we added is going to be all throughout that liquid. From this, we are gonna be able to see what pH it is. And we do only need to sit, let this sit for one minute. When we let this sit for one minute, we'll start to see that it will change colors. So over time, this will change colors and we see that there is a pH scale. I'll keep shaking it for a little bit longer to make sure that it really is gonna show us the true pH of this soil. Perfect, so once I have that, I'm gonna set it to the side because we're done doing this pH test. As soon as that is ready to go in about one minute or so, I will then check the pH. For the time being, I'm gonna show us how we can do our nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium or potash test. We have our profile. I'm gonna use my pipette and I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I'm getting the liquid, so that water portion. In the nitrogen, there are two compartments. I'm gonna fill up this first compartment to that fill line. Using my pipette, making sure, try not to get any of that organic matter that's floating. I just wanna get that soil water. Make sure it goes all the way to that fill line. And we're good with that one. I'll do the same exact thing. I'm gonna grab our capsule of our indicator and I'm going to put it into our nitrogen, into our little test, close the lid. And this one needs to be shaken as well, shaken very, very well so that we are ready. Once this is shaken up very well, I'm gonna let it sit for 10 minutes. So what will happen is we are gonna do this with phosphorus. I have already pre-filled. I'm gonna take the capsule for phosphorus. This is testing for phosphorus. Put the capsule into 
our test compartment, close our lid, make sure it's fully secure, and shake. I'm gonna shake this again for a minute for the sake of this video. We will do a time lapse where you will see just how it looks right now. And then we'll show you a picture after 10 minutes so that you see and can see what the nitrogen levels, the phosphorus, and the potash or potassium is. So same thing, this is now our potassium. We have our water from our soil profile from that sample filled to that line, and I'm gonna place that capsule substance inside. Lay that back to the side, close our lid, and shake away. Shake away. You can hear it shaking just so that we're getting all of that indicator throughout the whole substance. So we can already begin to see some of that color change. It is time for us to test and see what our pH is. There will be a picture as well that you will see at the end of this video that will show you the pH. For example, what we can see here, this pH, we should be capturing down on that chart. What we are doing is we are going to be filling in and highlighting what color pH. Once again, this is for soil from field number one. That can be found on slide number five. What pH color do we see? And it doesn't match exactly right, so we want to just be as accurate as possible. So we might call it closer to a 6.5, that it's a slight acid. Maybe it's somewhere between there. So make sure that we're capturing that down and highlighting that box on our Google worksheet. So this was our pH test, that was for our pH. For our nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, we're gonna let those sit for 10 minutes. We'll do a picture at the end followed by just one more video so you can see what that is. So stay tuned for the next portion. We have waited the designated 10 minutes. As we can see on each of these indicators, there are different levels. And the color of what we tested will tell us what it is. So for example, for nitrogen, the categories are N4 surplus, N3 sufficient, N2 adequate, N1 deficient, and N0 depleted. So based on what we see here, we're gonna see what color we think best matches. Which color best matches? On our slides, we're gonna highlight in that color which level it is, either that N4 surplus, N3 sufficient, N2 adequate, N1 deficient, or NO depleted. Feel free to pause the video at this time if you need to capture that down. Moving on to our phosphorus test. This is set up the same way. We have P4 phosphorus surplus, P3 sufficient, P2 adequate, P1 deficient, and P0 depleted. And what that means is that phosphorus is either too much, a good amount, or not enough for that soil to be fully healthy for those to win, for those soils to provide proper plant nutrients. I'll put my hand behind here so you can see the difference. So based on this time, on your slides, highlight what you think this phosphorus test is for this field number one. What color does it match? What color does it best match? Moving on to the potassium, our potash. What we can see here, what color does it best match? The same type with K4 being in surplus, K3 sufficient, K2 adequate, K1 deficient, and K0 depleted. So this is all about the potassium levels in this soil sample from field number one. 
So based on this, what do we believe? We're capturing that down, highlighting in that orange color. What level is field one for potassium? What level field one for potassium? And we've already done our pH, but I'll show you one more time. And that's just going from the bottom of the scale to the top from very acidic 4.5 all the way up to an alkaline pH 7.5. So this does not show the whole pH scale, but it does give us a good range for what soils really should be.